decision for us. Few things stand the test of time, yet tradition, through the efforts of many, carries on through generations. Stepping out from the shadows, a new contender ravages the landscape. Basic Combat Gyalkunai fires a volley of six high-speed projectiles, dealing massive damage in explosive bursts. These shots scatter widely, so it's normally used at close range. In most cases, you'll want to fire off the full volley. Otherwise, I recommend reloading before firing again. Lucky enough, the base reload time is pretty fast. While your primary is your main source of DPS, it's usually not your best option for opening attacks. Instead, cut down enemies with Raging Wave Shuriken. These giant shuriken fly down range, dealing great damage in a short burst. Up to three shuriken can be sent in quick succession, consuming one shuriken charge each. Successful hits with your secondary will recover about one shuriken charge each, rewarding accuracy and allowing you to continue your assault. These projectiles come out quickly, gathering velocity the farther it travels, making this a great weapon at all ranges. Tempest has a normal jump. Flash is a short range dash, dealing damage to all enemies on contact. Eliminate an enemy within 2 seconds of activating your dash to trigger Heartbreaker. This passive skill instantly recovers your dash, allowing you to instantly reposition after a kill. Flash is a short range dash dealing damage to all enemies on contact. Eliminate an enemy within 2 seconds of activating your dash to trigger Heartbreaker. This passive skill instantly recovers your dash, allowing you to instantly reposition after a kill. Modules The starting module Fury increases the velocity and fire rate of your secondary. Its main uses are to ease explosive damage and tagging far off enemies. Although, the same results can be achieved with experience without the module. Land 6 shots with your primary within 1 second to trigger Blast Wind. When triggered, an additional 120 damage is dealt to the enemy. The extra damage racks up fast with the short reload time of your primary. In the hands of experienced Tempest players, this is the best module for maximizing DPS. Dominate your enemies with Void. When damaging an enemy with your secondary, Tempest recovers a set amount of shield, helping you to power through brawls and outstamina enemies at range. With Swallow equipped, you gain a 10% speed buff when activating your dash. The speed buff, as it stands, is only noticeable when running along the ground, so if you're hoping to air dance like Ventorus, this module won't be of much help. The Swallow module is pretty underwhelming overall. While this module should be buffed or reworked to be more impactful, along with other modules in the game, Tempest is one of the strongest and most picked mechs in TDM right now, so the chances of that are pretty slim for a while. Moving on to propulsion modules, we have Timely Rain. When landing a successful secondary, the instant and natural recovery of the shuriken gauge is increased. With this module, you pretty much get a full charge back for each secondary you land, making this the most consistent propulsion module for DPS. Airstream extends the time window for triggering Heartbreaker, increasing your chances to instantly recover your dash on enemy elimination. The core 1 module Thunderstorm fully recovers your shuriken charges when eliminating an enemy with your secondary. The Airstream module mentioned before is stronger when used with the Thunderstorm module. With these two modules together, the ability to recover both your shift and your secondary at once can be insanely powerful. It's this type of explosive value that has the potential to shift the tide of battle. Damage an enemy with your dash to trigger the core 2 ability Mighty Flash. Alternatively, you can also land 6 primary shots within 2 seconds for the same effect. When fulfilling either condition, the enemy mech will gain a Mighty Flash mark. Tempest Shuriken will track marked enemies strongly, dealing over 10% increased damage. Both of these core modules are very powerful, as they should be. 
Core 1 has the unique ability to snowball when eliminating enemies in quick succession. This makes Core 1 much stronger as a DDM pick. Otherwise, Mighty Flash is just as strong, offering more consistent benefit overall. Module Builds For my main build, I run Blast Wind for increased primary DPS. Void increases survivability greatly over time, while Timely Rain increases DPS and damage consistency with Tempest Secondary. For the TDM variant, we switch in Airstream for the Propulsion module. In TDM, there are much more chances to finish off enemies in a short span of time, meaning more chances to trigger Airstream. Tech Builds The mobility tech I run for Tempest are Efficient Transmission, Enhanced Shield, and Quick Cooldown Plan. A pretty standard yet effective selection of tech that boosts overall stats. If you prefer extra combat skill recovery, Engine Boost is a great swap out for Enhanced Shield. My Fire Rate slash Reload build focuses mainly on Fire Rate. Getting out your kunai as fast as possible, then reloading at lightning speed is about half the battle. The increased secondary recovery rate is pretty nice to have also. Next up is my Fire Rate Pure build. Not gonna lie, running triple Fire Rate tech on Tempest just feels right. It's subtle, but the slight increase in Fire Rate makes firing Tempest's primary feel natural. And less time spent firing means less time spent open to attack. This is my preferred tech build overall. Mecha Skills When Lightning Mods triggers, the extra damage helps soften up enemies for the kill. Hive Infrastructure works great for mechs with low durability like Tempest. Hail of Bullets works wonders for Tempest. While the Fire Rate Pure build speeds up primary fire rate considerably, Hail of Bullets makes reloading near instant. These together buff your primary to pretty insane levels of DPS. Combo control helps you to reposition after attack more often. More useful once you learn movement and positioning with Tempest. Hovering attacks damage buff in midair is a strong pick for helping secure kills. Quick shield recharge helps support more reckless gameplay up close, or stamina based poking with your secondary. Magic Stones The stones I recommend for Tempest are Air, Earth, Curse, and Fire. On one hand, Tempest is so fragile you might as well go for the extra 50% more damage. On the other hand, if you don't have his movement down, you're gonna get burned. Advanced Tactics There are two main approaches to combat between your primary and secondary. The first is to launch all of your shuriken at once and follow up with your primary. By the time they realize they've been hit, one or two more shuriken are already on the way. In my experience, this usually results in the most damage. From there, you'll often transition into the second approach of firing your primary, following up with one or two shuriken. This is also the option for more consistent damage or when low on shuriken. Your primary fires randomly in a moderate area around the cursor, with zero accuracy reduction when firing or performing other actions. Since the shots tend not to follow too closely to the last shot, you can sort of take advantage of this. If you shake your cursor in between each shot, you can sort of increase your overall accuracy. It's hard to explain, but if you practice for a while, you'll start to get a feel for what I mean. Once you get the hang of it, Tempest Schoonlight can be used at mid-range and beyond. Your dash is the only real way of escape or shake-up when handling enemies, so try to psych out or catch your opponent off guard with precise dash timing. Ending Thoughts Tempest excels when rocking glass cannon and finisher rolls. With great resource management and primary scatter control, Tempest can extend into zoning and punisher roles also. Tempest's overall combat flow is to poke and zone with its primary and secondary, securing the kill with any of its various attacks, then repositioning to prepare for the next target. Tempest features high poke, stamina, and burst damage at base. With precision, Tempest's consistent DPS rises considerably. With everything said in the guide so far, Tempest possibly holds the highest skill ceiling amongst all mecha in the game. Like a true ninja, Tempest's power scales with precise actions. Pay close attention to your surroundings, for under the guise of gentle calm, a raging Tempest looms ready to break the silence. If you're looking for more videos like this, I've made guides for over half the entire mech roster of Super Mecha Champions. I'm live right now on Twitch also, so come say hi. If you want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below also. It really does help the video get out there to more people. That's for this one, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Ami out.